Hello everyone, if your controller is not working in EA's FC24, then you have come to the right place because in this video, I'll show you a, a couple of fixes to fix your controller so that it can start working in EA's FC24. So first of all, we need to get the easy step out of the way, which is to unplug your keyboard and plug it into a different port and check if that fixes your issue. After you're done with that and it didn't fix your issue, then what you can do is open up Steam and click on to EA's FC24. I don't have it on Steam, so I'll use Counter-Strike 2 as an example. So we'll right click on that, go into properties and here click on to controller and here make sure that this is set to use default settings and then close it up and then try playing the game and check if that fixes the issue if your controller not working. But if it didn't, then close the game back up and right click on your game again, go into properties, go into controller and click on controller general settings here. And here what you need to do is click on test device inputs, so click on begin test here. And then test your controller right here. And after you're done with that, go ahead and calibrate it from Steam's settings. So go ahead and calibrate your controller from here. After you're done with the calibration from Steam, close it up and try and see if the game works then. If it doesn't, then open up that same menu again, go into your properties, controller, controller general settings here. Make sure that these are disabled and only enable the one that you're using. For example, if you're using Xbox, enable that. If you're using PlayStation, enable that. If you're using Switch, enable that. Or if you're using a generic controller like me, enable that. And then try and see if that fixes the issue. If you didn't, then what you can do is calibrate the controller from Windows settings. Open up your start menu and write here control panel. And here, click on category and go to small icons. And here, go to device and printers. And here, you need to right click on your controller. So this is mine. And then click on game controller settings. And here you see it says OK. So just go into properties. And here, Check and see if it's working right here. So you can see mine is working fine here. So just go into settings and then click on reset to default here. Click OK. Try and see if that fixes the issue. If it didn't, then right click on your controller again. Go into game controller settings again. Properties. And then click on to settings. And here click on to calibrate right here. Complete this wizard. And it will tell you what to do. Put the controller onto the top left. So we'll do that. Leave it into the center. Do that. Move the controller all the way up and down. And then press a button. And it says calibration complete. Click apply and OK right here. And then go into advanced and select your controller from here, the one that you want to use. Press OK here. And then try and see if that fixes the controller not working in EA FC24 issue. But if it didn't, then the last resort is to update your controller's drivers from device manager. So you can do that by opening up a start menu right here, device manager. And here find your controller. Here is my controller. Right click on it and click update driver here. Check and see if Windows can find an updated driver for it. If it says the best drivers for your device are already installed, then click search for updated drivers on Windows Update. And click check for updates here and see if Windows can find an update for your controller. If it can't, then the last resort is to troubleshoot your controller from Windows. Sometimes Windows can troubleshoot and find the issue and fix the controller's issue. You can do that by opening up the start menu again, write a control panel, go to devices and printers again, right click on your controller and click troubleshoot right here. 
wait for windows to complete troubleshooting if it does find a problem then it will fix the problem and your controller will work but if it can't find the problem then what you need to do is you need to probably change your controller because it is probably faulty and that's why it's not working so there you have it guys if you found this video helpful make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in my next video peace